In what may be one of the craziest election seasons ever, one aspect of this unusual race has actually been rather consistent over the past few weeks, that being national polls. Most have shown Clinton leading Trump by at least two points. But there have been a few outliers, including a nationwide poll run by professors and researchers right here at USC. It's called the USC Dornsife LA Times Daybreak Poll. Right now, Trump is actually beating Clinton by four points. Most polls are conducted over the phone, whereas this poll is conducted over the internet, a factor that may make this poll unique. It's not clear that everyone is going to tell an interviewer over the phone that they are a Trump supporter. There is some notion that people sort of may be a little embarrassed. In our case, that doesn't really happen because it's anonymous, it's online. Here's how the poll works. 3,000 U.S. citizens who were randomly selected are asked three questions over the internet. What are the chances you will vote in the presidential election? Who will you vote for? And who do you think will win? One-seventh of the respondents answer the questions each day. But for first-time voters like Fatima Sadat, most polls, including this one, cannot be trusted. I can understand why some people don't trust the polls. You always see articles of it, you know, being put they're always close, so there's some that have something completely opposite in a different poll. Almost every other poll out there has Trump trailing Clinton, so why should we trust your poll? So you're right, so may, we may be wrong, it may be biased, but that's true of all polls. All polls have serious uncertainty, and no one really knows until after the election who was right. Eitan Wallace, Los Angeles.